Robin May here and today I am going to just do a fun little tutorial using a lot of my new products that I got in my ColourPop haul. I really just need an excuse to play with them so I'm going to film it while I mess around with some of these products. I have used them a couple of times and I'm really liking them so far but I'm just going to use the new colors and try a couple different things. So we're going to go ahead and just get into it right away. As you can see I do have a lot of acne issues going on right now. Um, one of the face cream, night creams that I got from my Sally Beauty haul I think is breaking me out. So we'll see if that I can keep using that. But I am going to do some color correcting today to help alleviate this business that's going on down here. So I'm going to go in with my next color correcting palette. And I'm going to just take the green color and a concealer brush and just take care of those red areas. Just kidding. JK, I did this last time too. It's Robin May here and today I'm going to just do a fun little tutorial using a lot of my new products that I got in my ColourPop haul. I really just needed an excuse to play with them so I'm going to film it while I mess around with some of these products. I have used them a couple of times and I'm really liking them so far but I'm just going to use some new colors and try a couple different things. So we're going to go ahead and just get into it right away. So to start things off, as always, I'm going to go in and prime my face. You can use whatever primer you like. I am still using the Nivea aftershave because it seems to work. I still haven't tested it out, but it doesn't not work. Next, I'm going to go in with my NYX color correcting palette and a concealer brush. I'm going to take the green color and just try to hide some of this redness that's going on all over my chin. Next, since I already have my color corrector out, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this light salmon pink color and just do some under eye correction. Before I do that, I am going to go in with an eye cream to make sure that my under eyes are very moisturized. Then I'm just going to take my ring finger and just kind of blend this out a little bit. Next we're going to go into foundation. For today I'm going to use a mix of Milani 2-in-1 concealer and the L'Oreal Lumi. Um, the concealer is in, or the Milani is in 03 light beige and the Lumi is in N12 soft ivory. Optimus, stop eating the dog's food. <sighs> so I'm just going to take a pump of the Milani, which as you can see is super, super thick. And then I'm going to go in with a pump of the Lumi. Now I don't know if you can see how different those colors are, but the Milani is a little bit too dark for me. And I think that the Lumi really brightens it up, but also does add that shine and glow as well. So I'm just going to, so I'm just going to take my beauty blender tip and just kind of mix that together. Let me get a nice natural color. Then I'll dot this all over my face. And then blend. To make sure that I have enough coverage on where I did the color correcting with the green, I'm going to go in with another like half pump of the Lumi and just make sure that I can really get that covered. Then to do my brows, I'm going to go in and do the Milani, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's in dark brown and it's a pot of like a cream brow gel kind of thing and a brush and I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. All right, now that I have my power brows on, I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer. I'm going to use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes.
Then I'll take my beauty blender and blend that out. Once I'm sure there's no creasing, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the translucent powder. This is the Milani Prep Set Go Powder, and I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye. So for contouring today, I'm actually going to go in with the Measurable Difference Palette. I got this at TJ Maxx. You can see it in my TJ Maxx haul. And I'm going to go in with this light color and this dark color here and just kind of combine the two for a contour. Next, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to first go ahead and prime them using the Milani Eye Primer. Big shock there. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes and I'm going to take the second color, the color Shell, and just set my entire eye with that. So first I'm going to go in with my transition shade. For that I'm going to use an Ulta eyeshadow. This is in the color Stardust. This shade isn't really too much darker than the all over shadow that I did just to kind of set my primer. But it does have a little bit of sparkle, it does have a little bit more color. So we're just going to go ahead and use that as our transition shade today. So just putting it in my crease and working up a little bit. So for my eye shade, I am going to be using Hammered um, from the ColourPop shadow line. This is a olive green shimmery color. Now for ColourPop, they suggest both in their pamphlets and on the website and pretty much anywhere to use your fingers to apply this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my ring finger, put some product on my ring finger, and then apply this just by dabbing it on my eye. So clearly this is a not perfect, but next I'm just gonna go in with a brush and just kind of blend out the color a little bit. So to deepen up this look, I'm going to go in with a dark gray black color. In this case, I'm going to be using the Milani Bella Charcoal. This I got for a dollar in my Dollar Street, Dollar Street, what is that? My Dollar Tree haul. And to apply this, I'm going to take this um, Bogashi brush that I got in an Ipsy bag. I've been really liking this brush for placing stuff in my crease because it's pretty flat and it's kind of tapered and I just, I think it's just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna swatch it and make sure that it's not too dark when I first apply it. And then go ahead and just add in some um, crease definition. Next, to add just a little bit more definition, I'm going to go in with another ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Envy. This is that super purpley glitter color. And I am going to use a brush to apply this simply because I'm putting it in my crease and I can't do that accurately with my finger. I'm actually just gonna use the same brush and just get it right on the end. And we'll just dab that in 
best as we can. I'm also going to take that same color and use that same brush and just try and smoke out underneath my eye. The uh, eyebrow bone, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. And I'm just going to use a brush and apply some highlighter to the top of my eye and my brow bone. We'll also use this to apply a highlighter to our inner corner. Next, because we do have so much dark colors going around our eyes, I'm going to go in with a white pencil or a white eyeliner. Um, this is a cool pencil from Wet n Wild so it doesn't give you the best but it does give a little bit of whiteness to my waterline so we're going to go ahead and do that. And for my eyeliner for the top of my lid I'm just going to go in with this Star Luxe Black Eyeliner Pencil and I'm going to go ahead and just do a small black line. This is a very thick consistency. So I really just place a little bit on my eye and then I go in with a pencil to even it out. When I say go in with a pencil, I mean go in with a brush. And this helps soften the eyeliner as well. For mascara, I'm going to go in with Benefit's Their Real Mascara and do a coat on both my top and lower lashes. Right, so we are almost done. I'm going to go ahead and go in with some blush, and for that I'm going to use this um, Style Essentials. This is what I got at Target, nope, at TJ Maxx as well in that haul. And I think today, We'll do a mix of mm, mix of these two. So I don't want it to be too pink, but I want a little bit of color to brighten up my face. Then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with my highlighter trio by City Color, and I'm going to use the gold shade. For my lips, I'm going to go ahead and line them with this Rimmel Lasting Finish in 1000 Kisses. Then to fill them in, I'm going to use the ColourPop um, Lippy Stick in Pillow Talk. Because I'm horrible at doing lipstick, I need to correct where I drew outside of the line. So I'm just taking some concealer or foundation or whatever, and I'm just putting some on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to just take this flat, um, this is actually a concealer brush, and try and correct my mistakes without making it worse. That's the trick. And then there we have the finished look. So that is it with this look using mostly ColourPop for my eyes and then for my lips. I just really wanted an excuse to play with them. So we just made a video about it. It's fine guys, it's fine. So thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this look or if you like these types of tutorials. And you should also subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of the other videos that I have. Thanks so much for watching today guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.